Hey everybody, it's me, Andrew. Get out into nature and tune in for yourself. Resonate with the Earth's electromagnetic field via 432 hertz, the universal frequency. Balance out psychologically and emotionally and further strengthen your brain and your heart's coherence as well get a plant-based diet going for yourself today and nurture yourself right back into life we are literally herbivores in our nature further balance out your physical body's ph level and to get with alkalinity then you can generate some static electricity Send me some love telepathically, set attention to your mind, and set intention to communicate. That is all there is to telepathy. You are now tuning in to great days. So today I'm gonna pretty much go over um why you should never worry you know especially during times like this where there is global warfare on the horizon i mean it isn't even on the horizon it, but what i mean is that it is rising and um one reason to actually make this video is because of that most people will find themselves within a fear vibration you know but I'm pretty much going to go over why you should never, ever worry. Um, philosophically backed up, experientially backed up. And um, yeah, it's going to be a great video. Very, very simple and enjoyable. So make sure to relax and uh, let's get right into it. All right. So today's video is don't worry ever. now so um don't ever worry okay i'm just gonna start off with this because uh there's really no other way to start off but some reasons to never worry is because um for one worry is literally just a waste of energy you know i've heard so many people bring into their daily speech that they need to worry about something you know uh, if you are observant if you are aware of how people are talking and if you are aware of the power of words for one you understand that um, it's kind of a, a mistake to waste your energy on worry you know so Sometimes you'll hear people say, um, I don't need to be worrying about this this month, you know, or um, just another thing to worry about, you know. See, when, when people are saying this, they're pretty much worrying about something that does not need to be worried over, you know, because worrying in the first place is just a waste of energy. So whenever you worry about something, is it going to benefit you? It's not. You know, uh, it, it's just going to entangle you within something that isn't even existing yet. For example, let's say you don't have um, enough money to pay your phone bill, right? Let's say you don't have enough money to pay your phone bill. And you're literally like, let's say 15 days before the phone bill. And uh, you're already worrying about how you're going to pay the phone bill. So you see how, how that in itself is illusory. You're worrying about something that does not even exist yet. For one, it hasn't even arrived. So that's a waste of energy. Why are you going to worry about something that isn't even happening yet? Or that isn't even existing yet, you know? And for two, another reason never to worry is because you're wasting the energy that you can pretty much condense here and now 
to enjoy your experience instead of just wasting it on worrying about something that is non-existent you know so it's a trap it's something that it invites lower vibration you're basically worrying about something that isn't even isn't affecting you yet you know you're worrying about how you're gonna get money 15 days before the payment is due you know when in reality life is very very spontaneous you know people a person can literally just give you the money out of nowhere for the entire phone bill and and you'll just sit there questioning like okay well what did i even do to be given the money for this it, it's just that's the nature of existence you know that's the spontaneity of existence and uh, in that in that experience you don't need to worry about it because you're gonna waste your energy worrying about something that can just instantaneously be solved unexpectedly you know or or, or um, spontaneously you know you never know what can happen is the basis of why you should never worry to begin with okay um, you never know what is going to happen okay and that is one reason why you should never worry because for example you're worrying about something that does not exist let's say like a phone bill 15 days before and um, in all actuality somebody can literally just give you the money for no reason at all unexpectedly a few days before the phone bill and uh, it, it's all solved in that way, you know, and that's happened many, many times to me. And uh, I've seen this happen to many, many people all the time, you know. So so this is the, the nature of existence. It's a spontaneity. It's a, a unexpecting, you know, of what's going to happen next, you know. Uh, so that's a reason why to not worry and in realizing that that is the nature of existence it actually allows you to dissolve the lower vibration of worry in itself worrying is a very very heavy energy you know and whenever you are worrying about something that is not even here or that is non-existent or that is just illusory you're you're wasting your energy you're just putting yourself in a denser lower vibration for nothing you know when when in all honesty what you're worrying about can literally be spontaneously solved out of nowhere okay and and what i have come to know as well or what i have come to to understand is that instead of being in a denser vibration instead of putting yourself in worry instead of worrying about something if you were to just dissolve away or relieve that worry you would come into a higher vibration okay you would lighten up a little bit and you would you would immerse yourself within the here and now okay and then you would start to enjoy life and in raising your vibration from this denser state of worry that lighter vibration in itself is what drives that spontaneity of the universe so that lighter vibration is pretty much going to allow for things like people just giving you the money for that bill to begin with you know if people see you within the lower vibration they do want to help you know but it's more so that energy is contagious the energy that you keep the vibration that you hold is what is going to be attracted into your life if you are in a worry vibration you're going to attract people that are only going to be in worry as well and then that just generates more worry and and worry is a denser lower vibration so that's just going to generate more heavier and denser vibrations you know so if you relieve that worry if you come into a lighter vibration let's say of curiosity or exploration or spontaneity or even love you know um that lighter vibration is going to attract like vibration is going to attract a lighter vibration and and people of a lighter vibration are more accepting to just pay for other people's food or other people's bill you know or other people's things you know 
people of a lighter vibration are more um are more free and they're more liberated so they don't hold any attachment to their money to begin with you know so they're going to be more inclined to just give you money if you literally need it you know and in that in that you never need to worry because everything is just always taken care of and if you were in a lighter vibration by dissolving away worry by realizing that it is of a lower vibration and only invites lower vibration then you can once again come into a lighter vibration attract a like energy and then um this will pretty much bring in more experience spontaneous experience like getting uh whatever you're worried about dissolved away you know for example like having a phone bill that you don't know how how you're gonna pay and then um somebody literally just paying for it, you know so having a lighter vibration actually attracts more experience like that while as or whereas having a denser lower vibration is only going to bring you into a state of misery that is going to attract more miserable miserable people around you because energy attracts each other you know the same energy attracts itself okay and um and and, and people who are of lower denser vibration they could be more attached to to whatever it is uh that is going to pretty much dissolve away whatever it is you're worrying about you know so that is uh, a reason why you should never worry to begin with and it's like um i also wanted to make this video because there is going to be these global food shortages right because of all the warfare and all the conflict and not only to mention the warfare and the conflict itself this can bring a lot of worry because you're worrying about you know some of uh the the people's in the countries or the nations that are actually at war you're worried about these people but it's just so that don't be so worried about it don't ever worry in fact because worry is just of a lower vibration and warfare in itself is a lower vibration as well and and these denser vibrations they they pretty much group into each other and they uh they build they pressurize you know and then they Christline things quantumly throughout life and this is what actualizes some of these lower realities but the whole thing about it is is when you never worry when you understand that it's just a lower vibration and that there is never anything to worry about because for one life is actually eternal we are energy okay and, and the only thing you ever can truly fear or, or worry about is death once you understand that there actually is no death then that should just completely dissolve away or abolish the source of all fear which actually arises worry as well so then what i'm trying to get at is that don't worry about the war okay that is a complete it's a triviality you know it's a it's a reality but it's of like a a trivial reality you know don't worry about it if you're somebody who isn't involved with it if you aren't somebody getting bombarded by the missiles you know on the daily just don't worry about it if you're not living within the war like actually being bombarded by the weaponries and whatnot don't worry about it okay if you are free right now from from these types of things continue to to be liberated you know continue to be free and don't worry about it because it's going to take care of itself that is the nature of existence you know and when it comes to to global food shortages and things like this we are all affected by this but even then if you are if you are going to be uh scarce in food you know if you aren't going to be able to eat don't worry about it because worrying about it is just going to be overthinking about it let's say let's say you are um you're thinking about what you're going to eat tomorrow right when in reality tomorrow isn't even it's not now we aren't tomorrow tomorrow is just an illusion you know all that is is now and in that you don't have to worry about what you're going to eat tomorrow or even the next day or even an hour from now 
because that is all given to you when it is time when it is needed you know just like like animals animals you won't see worrying about what they're gonna eat they they literally are just so blissful no matter what you always see birds singing you know they're always singing and they aren't ever worried about what they're gonna eat next rather it just comes to them this is the nature of existence because life is uh it, it's it's continuity you know it's eternally continuous and what it needs to do is it needs to continuously have you live in abundance so that it itself can live within abundance because you are it and if you are living abundantly then it lives abundantly and it or god the totality or the entirety of the universe wants to live like a god it wants to live in abundance so if you are it and it is you then it is going to provide abundance or at the very basic it's going to provide your needs you know which is eating at least once a day okay um you're not gonna starve if you don't eat once a day if if sorry i'm on a fast right now so i'm getting a little mixed up you aren't gonna starve though if you're able to eat once a day you aren't gonna starve people don't really need to eat three to four times a day okay that that's too much all right um people just enjoy enjoy the density you know the 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 physical but um birds once again or or any animal for for that matter they have this this innate intuition that they don't ever have to truly worry about food because it's always given to them you know a bird can literally just go to the ground at any single moment and it can just pick up an insect because it knows that life is so abundant with insects that it can literally just go anytime and and just take a, a piece of insect you know or even a seed you know and in that the bird knows that it never has to worry about food so it can go about singing joyously 24 7 you know um and all animals have this innate knowing that that they will always find food it will always be provided to them subjectively because the universe needs them to continue to sustain themselves because the universe is them and in sustaining their own life they are continuing to sustain the universe as a whole because it's all just one it's it's a cycle and if the animals are living then the universe is living you know so this is why the universe will literally just provide the food when it's time to the animal and and that's it you know that's why there's never a reason to worry so if you do worry about any scarcity of food or if you do worry about any shortage of food or or conflict you know war or even losing your life or even losing your house not being able to pay bills anything that will ever bring worry to you just understand that the nature of life is more so a a show or a dance or a musical or a song you know this is why it's called universe because it's one song we are all one organism and the nature of existence or the nature of the organism in itself is very very harmonious musical hence universe okay so um never worry because it it would be like worrying about what you're going to to sing in a song you know when in all honesty the the whole nature of, of a song is to just sing you know make the sound and have people enjoy the sound don't worry about how you're gonna sound but just sound okay and and that's why you should never ever worry so i do thank everybody for watching today's video and i hope i did get you in tune with a higher vibration by allowing you to realize why you should never worry dissolving away the denser vibration of worry in itself okay never stress either never ever do these things and and if you do if you are a person who does these things over excessively then um 
just try and realize that they are lower vibrational and there's never a need to actually um, worry or stress about anything you know so I do thank everybody for watching and I hope you did enjoy the video today once again subscribe over here to the left and help me reach 100 subscribers drop a like on the video to the right of me and support the channel once again Generate some static electricity from the etheric body or the first layer of the aura. It needs to be strengthened and realized for the collective rise in consciousness. I love you, everybody. Have a great day and peace out. Don't ever worry. One love.